Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby, and today we are going to be talking about the effects of your morning cup of joe and your seizure activity. Is there any relationship between the two, or are they completely separate? Let's find out. If you're like me, you really like waking up in the morning, brewing a nice, fresh, hot pot of coffee, sitting down with your favorite chipped mug, and just enjoying the morning. But is there a chance that that coffee, or more specifically, the caffeine, is there a chance that that's doing something to your seizure activity that may not make that morning cup of joe worth it? Throughout the world, caffeine is the most widely consumed central nervous stimulant. And it's really unknown whether it has any, any effects on people with epilepsy. It's important to note that the relationship between the two like most things when it comes to epilepsy is not well studied. Most studies on the effects of caffeine and epilepsy are done on rats, mice, sometimes dogs and cats. Not many human studies, which is why the effects are pretty unknown at the time. It's also important to note that I am not a doctor. However, I have spent a lot of time studying this kind of thing. I have also had epilepsy for 15 years and I have worked in the medical industry for a very long time. It is always best to go to your physician or your neurologist and see what they think. So the confusing part of caffeine and epilepsy is that in many of the animal studies, caffeine resulted in more seizures, but has also resulted in less. So there is evidence to say that caffeine may increase your seizure activity, but there is also evidence that has proven that it will reduce your seizure activity. So what do you what do you do with that information? It's so confusing. Studies do suggest that the effects of caffeine on epilepsy do seem to be dose dependent and influenced by the duration of intake as well as the developmental stage at which ca caffeine exposure first started. A common finding has been that caffeine can lower the efficacy of many anti-seizure, anti-convulsant medications. The anti-seizure medication topamirate or topamax, which is much easier to say, is believed to have the worst reaction essentially to caffeine in that the effects of it are almost completely diminished when you drink caffeine or when you intake caffeine. Meaning, if you're on Topamax, Topamirate, and you're continuously consuming coffee soda, any sort of caffeine, the efficacy of that anti-seizure med medication is greatly diminished. I can personally speak on this because I took Topamax for a long time, at least eight years, and my seizures were not controlled at all. Never once when I was taking that medication was I told, do not drink caffeine with this, as it's going to lower the effects of it and cause you to have more seizures. I personally have nothing good to say about Topamax. So in terms of studies, there have been studies performed on rats, mice, guinea pigs, cats, and dogs that have found that extremely high doses of caffeine resulted in higher seizures. The problem with this is, how in the world do we know what an extremely high dose of caffeine 
is in terms of a guinea pig. I would imagine my body is more well equipped than a little guinea pig to handle caffeine. So what does that extreme dose of caffeine look like? The study didn't go into the amount of milligrams or the dosage. It's typically labeled as one injection of caffeine, which is why these studies are so hard to relate to because I'm not injecting extreme amounts of caffeine into my body. Another study, a 2013 study that was performed on hospital patients post seizure found that the coffee consumption on the day preceding the seizure as well as on the day of the seizure was not higher than their average consumption on a seizure free day. Meaning prior to their seizure, they hadn't had any more caffeine than they would any other day. But for whatever reason, on that day, they had a seizure. Whether or not it can be linked to caffeine is, it's hard. <laughs> there was a small subgroup that actually trended towards less caffeine on the day prior to their seizure or the day of their seizure, which suggests that maybe caffeine with withdrawal can affect or be considered a seizure trigger. So I know this can be frustrating because you just, there seems to be no right answer and there seems to be no clear answer because there really isn't. So although we don't have a lot of clinical studies to support this, there are a large number of studies that have been performed on animals testing the interaction between caffeine and anti-seizure medications. Most studies have shown that the effects of some anti-seizure medications is reduced by caffeine. Studies have shown that rats, after being injected with a single dose of caffeine, after that single dose of caffeine in the rats, the seizure threshold or the ability for the rats to not have a seizure was lowered in 50% of the rats. That's a lot. General findings agree that caffeine increases seizure probability by indirectly increasing the need for anti-seizure medications. Now, the scientific nature of why caffeine can decrease the effects of anticonvulsants or anti-seizure medications isn't fully understood. There are several factors that are understood about the relationship of caffeine and seizure activity. Seizure activity depends on brain excitability. So when your brain is very active, very excited, overheated, anything like that, you may trigger a seizure. Sleep deficiency is also a huge seizure trigger and not sleeping and caffeine kind of go hand in hand. Meaning the effects of caffeine on seizure susceptibility may simply be related to its sleep disrupting effects. It truly is very unclear how these findings, primarily in animal studies, can be translated to the clinical condition of epilepsy. At the time, there is no physical evidence to advise people with epilepsy against the use, the overuse, or not using caffeine. The best method of action that you can take is simply to pay attention to how you're feeling. Maybe start a seizure diary, document the times that you had seizures, the day you had seizures, coffee con or caffeine consumption on that day, as well as any other triggers that may have been involved in that seizure. It would be best once you have recorded those seizures in your seizure diary to take them to your physician, to take to them to your neurologist and just ask for advice. What would you recommend? What should I do? Um, and go from there. We essentially have to become the scientists for ourselves. Study our day, study our habits, and study the effects of them. That can get overwhelming, and it can get a little distressing, and it can get very hard. But know that you are not alone in this crazy epileptic world 
epileptic life that we have been introduced to and, and are currently living, you will always be able to come to this channel and find support, find friends, find help, and find someone who relates to you. I know that that can be hard to find just in normal everyday life because not a lot of people around you are suffering from epilepsy. Not a lot of people truly understand what you're going through. That's not the case for this channel. I hope you've been able to take something from this video, even if it is just the fact that I am here for you, this community is here for you, and we are all going through the same thing together. I hope that you have had a wonderful, wonderful, seizure-free, caffeine-filled, if that's what you like, day, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!